Hi, Sturdy Women. Welcome back. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're feeling good in your body. Today, I want to talk about compression. And I do have another video that I will pop up above for you just now about my favorite compression. But once you've found one that you really love, I want to talk about taking care of it. Compression is expensive. It's an investment that really we have to make every couple months. And so how do you take care of your compression? I'm gonna talk a little bit about that today. Make sure you stick around until the end. I have a really exciting compression-related announcement that I'm gonna share um, at the end. But before we do that, I just wanna say a huge welcome to all of our new subscribers. We're so grateful to have you in our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe below, and then click the little bell and you'll get a notification as soon as I post a new video each week. If today's information or anything else on the channel is helpful to you, please do like and share so that we can reach more women and give them hope and help with their lipedema. So compression. You know if you watched the other video, my favorite brand of compression leggings are CZ Salas. Um, and the key thing though is one, any compression is better than no compression. The compression you will wear is great compression for you. So I love CZ Salas. If you don't, if it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't work for your body shape, it's uncomfortable, keep trying, find something that's comfortable, that will support you and that you will wear. Because whatever you're gonna wear is better than having this amazing compression, super expensive, custom made for you, and you just never wear it. So find something that you will wear. That's number one. Once you find something Something that you like to wear and that's comfortable make sure you get more than one pair and make sure you like it before you buy multiples don't waste your money um, but make sure you need a minimum of two it is so important that you wash your compression after each time you wear it this was a huge mistake that I made at the beginning compression is so expensive that I just had one pair and I wore it the entire week, and then I washed it on the weekend. I thought this was great because after you wash it, it's really tight and it's hard to put on. And then the second day and the third day and the fourth day, it's easier to put on. Well, guess what? That's because it's not working as well each of those um, later days. So every single time you wear your garment, you need to wash it. That's also because it's next to your skin. It is next to your skin all day, every day. And so you wanna make sure that you keep it clean. So you need a minimum of two pairs. I find that three works best for me because let's be real, we're busy people. Sometimes we travel, we have lives. Yes, sometimes I forget to wash my garment or I just don't have time because I'm traveling. So for me, I like to have three pairs that I rotate through, but you wanna make sure that you have at least two so that you can wear one and wash one, wear one and wash one, um, because you do want to air dry them. You don't wanna be putting them in the dryer. So washing, I just said that. How do you wash your garments? So number one, I'm gonna tell you what I do but you wanna make sure you know what is recommended by your garments manufacturer. At FDRS the other week, one of the presentations, which I just checked is not yet posted, I'll make sure that you know when it's posted, there was a session all about compression that was fantastic. One of her points was that if you do not follow the manufacturer's washing guidance, you will void any kind of warranty or guarantee on your garment. So the advice I'm giving you is what I do with my garments, but do make sure that if your manufacturer has specific washing guidance, follow that guidance. Um, so that if you have any problem, you can go back and, and replace that garment. What do I do? So for my CZ Salas, I don't use soap at all. Um, and this is actually the guidance I received from them. Um, they were a sponsor at a conference that I attended maybe two years ago. And I asked them, I went to their booth and I said, hey, 
what do you what kind of soap should I use to wash my garment and it was so interesting there was this long pause and he said what makes you think you need soap and I was like huh because I'm washing it and he's like no just wash it in the water this just completely blew my mind. I was like, there's no way that's going to be sufficient. But that's what I started doing. Um, I just wash my garment in water. And I also, I will admit, props to you if you hand wash your garment in the sink every day. Uh, I, hand, I lived in West Africa for six years. I am an amazing hand washer. Let me tell you, you have not hand washed until you have hand washed your own bed sheets. But there's no way I want to hand wash my garment every single night. I do it in my machine. Um, I wash it by itself in my washing machine. Nothing else, nothing with a zipper, nothing with a clasp, no nothing. Just my garment on delicate cold water. That's it. Um, and I wash it with no soap. I just throw it in there cold water boom rinse it out hang it up air dry it if that sounds crazy to you try it let me just say that because i've been doing it this way for about two years i've never had a smelly garment i've never had a garment that feels um unclean and i've just been rinsing it like that I do love to exercise. Those of you who have seen some of my other videos um, know that. I love to go outside in the summer, get really sweaty, all of that. I will say, if I do feel like there's a ton of sweat on my garment, there is a soap that I have occasionally used, and I'll put a link, I'll put a link to this below um, in the description. It's a specific stocking wash. Um, it's kind of expensive. Um, it's from Medi. Again, I'll put the, the Amazon link for you. And I'll use a little bit of this um, if I just like soaked my garment in sweat and I feel like, yeah, like it probably needs a little extra, extra help today. Um, but again, this is not what was recommended by CZ Salas. This is just a medical compression wash that I found on Amazon. And it is expensive, but also your garments are expensive, right? Um, it's so it's an in, it's an investment in the longevity of that garment so make sure you have more than one garment make sure you're washing it every time you wear it follow your manufacturer's recommendations but you might not need to use soap use your own discretion try it out i haven't used soap on mine in about two years and i've had no problems um I do switch out my garments though every time they, they start to look worn. Especially if you have the black ones, it's really easy to tell. You'll start to see the little fibers as the elastic is breaking down. That is your cue that it's time to replace that garment. Okay, so <laughs> I told you that I had an exciting announcement. You know my favorite type of garment is CZ Salas. I keep saying that. I'm gonna put a link below so that you can check those out on Amazon. Amazon though only has black and what I call medical beige. If you go to their Italian website, you will have to buy in euros, but you'll be able to get colors. Um, and if you have a credit card like Capital One, you can buy it without, you know, uh, exchange rates or anything like that. Uh, so, so check and see if your credit card allows that. And then you can just buy from their website. And on their website, you saw in the other video, they have burgundy, they have purple, they have, I call this Superman blue. Who doesn't feel amazing in that? And they have two new colors. As of a couple weeks ago, they have two new colors, which yes, I immediately had to get them. Fuchsia, heck yeah, I have not worn this one yet, super excited. And then they have graphite, just like a dark gray. And I have to admit, when I took this out, I was like, that's just black. No, it's not. Uh, I brought a black garment so that I can show you it is not just black. You can see it's this nice, 
dark gray and this one is called graphite they don't actually as of me making this video today they don't actually have a picture of the graphite but i did write to them and say like hey what is that and they they sent me um a picture of a different garment so it's a nice beautiful like dark gray so those of you who like more neutrals uh this might look really nice with like a shirt dress or something like that so that's my exciting uh announcement is that cz salas has new colors for spring so go get yourself something beautiful um that's it what compression works for you? How do you wash your compression? What hacks and tips and, and tricks have, have you found? Go ahead, uh, put, some, put some ideas and, and comments and questions below uh, in the comment section. And I'd love to hear from you over at sturdywoman.com. I have more information for you um, on my blog there. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.